Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Rankable. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show from the middle of Wyoming, where we talk about hacking electronics, gadgets, voiding warranties, making your electronics better. <laughs> making sure the internet stays up. Yeah, okay. we're a little bit concerned about this. Um, at the time of this yeah, recording... everybody should, really. Every, anybody that loves the internet. Yeah, uh, a lot of major websites are shutting down today, the day that we recorded this episode, because they want to give people an idea of what might happen if this, this these bills get passed, or, or bills like SOPA or the PIPA, which is um, the Stop Online Piracy Act, and uh, what is it, the Protect Intellectual Property? Protect IP. Yeah. In, 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 intellectual Property Act. <laughs> so, you know, in in light of, uh, you know, company or these, the, the RAAA, MPA, having trouble going out to these torrent sites and trying to get them shut down. Yeah, yeah so these now, are the major record and uh, movie industries. They don't like the fact that people can easily go to pirate whatever and, you know, demon whatever and download their stuff for free. So they want to they want to they want to be able to stop stuff from outside of the country getting in that's pirate pirated, right? So cuz right now they can't really Yeah, legal- anything really anything Yeah, anything that they deem is infringing upon their their intellectual property. Um, the issue with the bill is that it's very vague. Um, it, it gives anybody, and especially the larger companies, a lot of uh, control, I would say, of what they can shut down and on the basis of shutting it down. And one of the major... And from what I've seen, they don't need much justification other than just a letter, other than just a letter saying, hey, guess what? you got to shut them down now. Exactly. And it could kill user-generated like content impact. sites. So any, any, yeah. any, yeah, any of the sites, one, YouTube. you know, like, YouTube. yeah, like YouTube, like one person posts one video that's not cool, then they could theoretically shut down the whole site if, if, you know, YouTube doesn't go through and filter every single thing that comes in, which they would be liable to under these acts. So they'd have to go through and they'd have to personally make sure that everything's squeaky clean. Yeah. And it, it yeah, it just doesn't. There's too much potential for abuse. There's too much power. And just like Coke Girl said, uh, over censorship. Exactly, and it defeats the whole purpose of the internet: <laughs> freedom of information that's supposed to be not censored. <laughs> and, and by extension, to me, you know, the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Exactly. So you know, I, I it can be kind of a stretch to some people, but to me, uh, that's what that's what the internet is all about: freedom of speech. And, and one of the ways they were going to do this is they were going to take DNS. So what DNS is, is it a... Uh, <laughs> we've got, we got to do a summary of what DNS is. Is it a domain, uh, uh, domain name service? Domain, domain name system. System. That, that's how, you know, things like www.porn.com get resolved to IPs and you get your porn. Exactly, because otherwise you'd be typing in 216.57. whatever dot 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 dot. Yeah. And so... The whole naming system works on this DNS, and there's really only like less than half a dozen, about half a dozen DNS servers that contain the top main, level yeah, DNS servers, the, the, the authoritative root hits. But DNS these servers. these trickle down, so they trickle down to different ISPs that go to other ISPs that eventually go down to your little home router and eventually down to your computer, and all these things keep different uh, caches, and you can change them at these levels, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah. And, and on this note, I mean, that, that approach is very, it's, it's really flawed, in my opinion. Um, China does a better job of blocking stuff than that. They don't just, I mean, they flat out say, oh, you're trying to get to this IP network. No access for you. <laughs> and <laughs> DNS is easily, I mean, as we'll discuss it, it's a distributed system. It's meant to be redundant. It's not meant to be tied to one particular server. And so... Uh, so what they're talking about with SOPA and this Protect IP Act would fundamentally break the internet in the way that it was designed to work. Yeah, yeah. 
So that's not cool. And at the time of this recording, they're talking about taking the, the DNS stuff out of it, but I don't know how it would work otherwise. I, I don't see how that's any, any different than the current laws that they have now where they have infringement upon intellectual property where they send... Right, they already, they already have the DMCA. So yeah, they, they, I, don't need, I don't understand what more they need. If they can sit down and compile... Uh, legitimate reasons for a site that it's, you know, infringing upon their intellectual property. They can send that to the site and say, shut down or we'll sue you. They already do that. What more do they need to do? How much more control do they need? They, they want their hands on the actual switch itself? No. No. Anyways, we're going to show you how fun it is to pretend you're the evil government and mess with somebody else's computer. <laughs> or your roommate's. <laughs> or your roommate's computer. So, say, uh, so this DNS, right? There's inside every computer, just on just the individual computer, they have a host file, where you can set up your own DNS redirects, right? Raggable. Yes. Yes. Local host lookup. Your com your computer still has to be configured to use it, however. But if you if you go in there and you, you search on like Windows ninety five through Vista, it's pretty easy to find. It's just like in the C Windows file. There's this like host. C Windows drivers or C System32 drivers slash etc. I go there a lot. <laughs> but it's just like a little text file. You open it up in, in like Notepad. Hosts. And yeah. yeah, and just you can go and you can see there's already like a, a local host in there, right? Yep. And so you can just add your own little thing in there. So you can take like uh, Google.com and. And then you'd have to look up the IP address of whatever site you wanted to re redirect it to, right? Oh, yeah, where you'd like it to go to. Right, and you can do that just by opening up your command prompt and pinging whatever website, say, um, whitehouse.com or whatever. <laughs> just something. <laughs> uh, are you sure you use whitehouse.com? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's supposed to take them to someplace they don't aren't expecting when they first turn on and try and search Google. <laughs> yeah, whitehouse.com is go where you expect it to do it. Yeah. Go, I think you want whitehouse.gov. No, no, I'm talking about .com. You talked about .com. <laughs> oh no, that it's now a, 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 a part. It's a landing page. Oh well, okay. I don't know. What would be fun to take somebody to? A goatsy picture or something? <laughs> don't look up goats. Ooh, that's just that's I mean that's just evil. <laughs> but yeah, those are the sorts of things. That... Yeah, so it's really easy to do, and it'll take them forever to figure it out. They'll probably end up like throwing the computer out the window and tell, or killing you when they find out that you did it. <laughs> if your roommate's tech savvy, they'll figure it out soon enough, though. You can also change it at, at uh, router levels. So, like, if, if you have a Linksys or Netgear or whatever, there's ways of going in there and changing the DNS entries there. Similar. Um, so, yeah, DNS is really easy to mess with. <laughs> but the other thing you can do is you can always set up... Yeah, you can always you can always set up your own DNS server. Yeah, there's um, uh, what what is that? There's there's a there's a few services that are out there. There's alternate DNS, so you you get your DNS servers from your ISP normally, but there's better ser there's um, theoretically faster. Like Google has their own DNS servers that they say are faster or more optimized. And then there's Open DNS as well. Right, Open How DNS. How does the law take that into account? And OpenDNS is really cool because, like, um, schools and stuff can sign up for it, and it can be pre-filtered. <laughs> so yeah. they can't get to, like, porn sites and things. So, yeah, yeah DNS is a, way, is a way to control the Internet, and that's how these guys were kind of planning on doing it. OpenDNS still gets their updates from the major DNS servers still. Right. So um, there was a Firefox plugin that came out, uh, DSOPA, and what it would do if you install it, is it would take um, any URL that you look up and send it out overseas and compare it against two different DNS servers and then throw it back to you via IP address so that you wouldn't even touch the US ones. So you can get around, effectively, SOPA. And it, you know, it's like one click install. So yeah, pirates, would, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't help protect any intellectual properties. No, and, and the thing is, is that the DNS is blocked, then they'll just go look up the IP address that you need to use. 
Exactly. People just start using. Oh, I can't go to the PirateBay.org anymore. Oh, okay, just give me the IP address. Exactly. Look that. Yeah, I mean, people used to use phone books all the time. It's not. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I mean, you, people remember area codes. Let's remember blocks of IPs. Oh, those are the good ones. <laughs> So, I, 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 a very half baked law. I'm surprised it's gotten as far as it has. Half baked technically and half baked as far as what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah. Way what are we talking topic. about? Sopa. sopa. <laughs> Have they sopa your mind? Did you get off your sopa box? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what can people do to stop this? Contact your congressperson, sign the petition. Go shout out to the streets of Sopa. Wear a shirt like Mr. Pox over there. <laughs> uh, no, yours says I void warranties. Yeah, oh, okay. that's probably not effective. <laughs> but I, wore, I avoided the warranties with style. <laughs> oh, with style. With oh. style. See? <laughs> <sighs> No, but like uh, Google said, they got over. Yeah, you can you can rise above your slacktivism and actually contact your congressperson and say that this this goes against. You can't let companies have that much control over the internet and regulate it like that. It's not the government regulating it. No, no, it's up to the companies. Yeah, the companies so that's the scary like, part. I mean, they're just giving the government the switch to do what the companies say. So, yeah. Like um, some yeah. particular company that makes a particular black box that we used to hack on the show. They shut down a lot of our episodes on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. But it, it was no fair, because it's like guilty until proven innocent. They're like, hey, we yeah. don't like what they're doing. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, how that, that, that drives me nuts when it came to that, to that happening to us. It was just basically, yeah, we were guilty until proven innocent, which violates you know, which goes against the whole justice system as far as I was taught since I was a kid. Innocent until proven guilty. And the thing is, these, these videos, you know, potentially led to things that they may not like people doing with their PSPs, but I just said the name of the system. Um, but it was perfectly legit. We weren't doing anything illegal. So Yeah, we don't need to give them any more potential ways to leverage guilty until proven innocent uh, control on the internet. Yeah. And it... it, it it needs to be harder for them to shut something down, shut, shut something down than it is harder for a smaller end user or whatever to bring it back up. Yeah, because like when our stuff got shut down, it took like two years to get it back up, which is just yeah. by that time it's useless. Yeah, and how long did it take? For, <laughs> and how long did it take for them to get it shut down? A week. Yeah, not very long. However long it took for whoever to write the letter. <laughs> I, I don't know, but it's ridiculous. Uh, I don't want another experience like that. Uh, all right. Is any anything up, uplifting to add <laughs> to this show? Well, no, not even that. I mean, imagine if your whole business is based on your website and, you know, out of the blue decide that it's infringing upon their copyrights without any kind of you know proof or anything like that and they shut you down and you have to spend two weeks to bring it back up you've lost business for two weeks and you, the expenses to bring it back up and what have they lost exactly or like they're talking about like reddit right it's all user generated content and stories and things yeah so you know the additional cost to them to have people monitor it or put it in a queue or you know, it could just flat out shut down their whole way of doing business because people don't want to use a site like that if it's not real time if they're going to have to wait for a queue for it to be filtered and censored and screened before it goes live and yeah it, it would just yeah not cool uh, anyways um, just to pimp ourselves uh <laughs> We do these shows every week, uh, Wednesday nights, live at 8.30 Mountain Standard Time, which is... What? By the way, follow Hope Girls link. Do it now. <laughs> we have a chat. So we have a chat on this live show that we do, and people post links, apparently, so that you can <laughs> ask questions live on the show, and we might answer them if we see them. <laughs> 
Uh, if you want to follow me, I'm at Walking Crow on Twitter. I got at Raggable on Twitter, and new shows posted online at TwoSmartGuys.com every week. See you guys next week. Bye, guys. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.